All right, so when you come out on the elevator, you've got three elevators right here in the middle at Compass Cove. Um, the reason I actually don't go to the middle of this section is what I'm talking about as far as like actually exposed. So for instance, when you come this way, you've got you know, 62, 63, 64, 65. Um, I stick to the 67 and south of those units because again, you're now actually exposed out here to the elements. Also, when you got an exposed building like this, you wanna be above the parking deck. So the parking deck's like three levels here. That way, you know, if you're down in there on like the third floor, for instance, I call that the dungeon. You're basically in this dark hole uh, of the building. So um, I avoid the exposed stuff. And the reason being is because, you know, a lot of the sconces and then like the door itself, like you can see above this door, you know, they do a lot of, you know, a lot more maintenance on that. So it's something where you're gonna have to paint it more often yourself each season. Um, they do it as the building, but they don't do it as often as you'd probably like when you're actually kind of more exposed to the elements out here. So it is a freaking gorgeous day. But um, this inside section too, there's a couple units here, no and no, because you're in this elevator shaft and I don't know if you can really tell, but it's basically like an entire echo chamber. So the 59 stack would be as close as I would get. Again, still dealing with some of the echo, but as you come out, You'll notice too, there's a couple more units, like 57, 56. You know, as we go down are again, you know, the two exposed units. But then once you get past those, you've got this kind of hallway area where these are now protected. So again, just, you know, your window, you know, treatment and element, that kind of stuff is gonna be in better shape. Now the 52 stack in this building is actually what they call the king suite. Um, it's all the way at the end of the hallway, so it's actually the end unit. So you don't actually have a window in the hallway. Your window is actually to the outside, uh, which is phenomenal, obviously. So um, you come in, you'll notice it's an enormous amount of, in my opinion, kind of wasted space here with just, you know, the king bed. Um, but obviously you've got a lot more room to put luggage and things like that. There's a little chair over here. Um, the flooring, this is, you know, what I call the old crappy carpet. Uh, it's in better shape in this building, but again, you want to get rid of this. It's just, it holds the water. Guarantee underneath this, the pad is just disgusting. Um, you typically end up with like more melt, mildew smells and that kind of stuff. It doesn't smell bad in here right now. Um, this building does do a pretty good job of cleaning their units, but it's just impossible to keep, you know, really up to, you know, top standard. So... Um, this is what literally, you know, the on-site units look like. They all look the same. Um, so again, furniture wise, you know, you'll see these are pretty scuffed up. Um, I got a, like three or four owners in here now. They've taken these and they've actually painted them white. Take the headboard, paint the headboard white, put some paint on. I call this the regular, you know, I hate to say it if you like the color, but sorry. It's like a puke yellow. Um, they put this like kind of basic yellow in every unit the, the video is going to probably look a little greenish even maybe but it's kind of a a yellowy green with like a hint of green obviously it's matching you know these drapes and and this you know this pattern but you know just like the last unit you know that like you know light blue aqua you know greenish even light green you know that kind of color honestly gives it just it makes it feel so much better um so uh, you've got the 12 by 12 tile. This is the, the standard 12 by 12. They put in basically every one of these units. Personally, I'm ripping all of this up, going through the whole thing, just like that last unit. Again, I'm going to be tile. Um, there is a safe in here because it's on the on-site. They will most likely rip that out, though, when you go off-site. They'll come and take that and typically patch the carpet. you got to have to kind of play nice a little bit to get them to do that. But um, the last unit, actually, owners I've got in here who self-manage, um, Brian and Tara, they actually, guy came and unlocked the safe for them and they've been using it ever since. So they literally didn't come and take it and it's just, they're just using it. So again, the fridge, you can kind of see it's, you know, it's seen its better days. You know, they've got just kind of the black fridge, high point or hot point. I'm not sure who that is, but you know, basic fridge, it's on, it's working, it's cold. Um, you know, again, the kind of the browner cap. So it's just, you know, it's just dated. That's really the key. This is one thing that drives me crazy. You know, you, you'll come in and there's exactly only six cups. You know, it's like six cups of coffee, six cups. So the unit sleeps six people. So you're basically doing dishes every day. This is something that almost never is right. So 
Six people stay here. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that's a miracle. There's actually six. But you have literally six, you know, six silverware. Your knives, one, two, three, four, five. You know, it's like, so, you know, you're basically having to wash dishes because unfortunately in this unit, there is no dishwasher. Um, so, you know, you're stuck doing that. I have seen some redesigns where they get rid of this cabinet move the sink over here, put a dishwasher basically in this section here with new cabinetry. Um, and then you've got again, for what they call the, the you know, galley style kitchens, um, you know, you're walking through, a lot of times you'll see a shorter uh, stove. This is, you know, it does have room for a full size stove and I'm gonna go over something that you could do with that too. So, um, so it just kind of, so you can see it's just kind of a longer than the typical unit, the again, um, again, stone counters, oh, wrong one. And then you've got, which is kind of a nice feature uh, under here, kind of see what the plumbing looks like. Uh, oh, there we go. Kind of got an idea there. Let's see if I can actually get the flash. It's not gonna participate, but that's okay. So there you go, there's that. You got toilet, tub, but there's actually a separate room. So it does have a drop ceiling in here too on this. So kind of an idea, you know, get up to the plumbing and stuff like that. But there's actually a door. So it's kind of a little nice feature. You're not in the bathroom with everybody if you have to go to the bathroom. So kind of something to think about there. But and again, it does have some newer, you know, some newer faucet. You know, it probably needs cleaning and stuff through the filter there. It probably has never been touched. Um, come on out here. So this is something that this end unit, and I show you, it's on the fourth floor. It's 452. But they actually took this wall and closet completely out and they put a stackable, um, you know, all contained washer and dryer in this area and just shortened the, the closet up. You don't need honestly this much closet space with all of the extra space that you could use in there for like a wardrobe, for instance. So they took this out, put a stackable washer and dryer in here. So then, then ran, you know, the water obviously to the, you know, got it plumbed in. Um, but that was a great way of kind of extending and they got rid of this wall too and kind of extended this whole closet and made this the washer and dryer so that way you don't need to worry about the washer and dryer because this building does have the restrictions but like I said that's really the only one in the gym but I'll show you later like the gym is in the third building over so your you know, guests in this building have no idea it even exists and you know very rarely we're going to get over there and kind of see the furniture is all older so there's obviously some money to be put in this. This is your Murphy bed. You kind of get an idea here. Yeah, that basically just folds down into your bed. And you know, they get these little straps on that kind of hold them down. But these, you know, I've seen people actually paint these even. Uh, Brian and Tara just did that actually in their unit. Um, Cause it's just, it's just older. This stuff's all the original. Again, you can kind of see the couch cushions all squished down here, but it is a sleeper sofa. It's got some stain on it too, so. Yay. Um, this is what I'm talking about. This TV has got to go. You know, if you're basically measuring from here to here, this is probably a 42 inch TV, honestly. So just too small for what people expect now from rentals because every kid needs to bring their freaking game system with them now and hook them up and all that kind of fun stuff because they're coming with friends and nobody wants to hang out with parents and all that fun stuff. So uh, again, popcorn ceiling, pretty standard there. Uh, you know, here's your on-site maintenance for you. you know, the, wires exposed the you know um smoke detectors just hanging off the wall this was already cleaned so great <laughs> so it's just kind of like you know you see crumbs and stuff on the table kind of get close there but um the hvac's in here are definitely the older systems these are typically like about 1500 bucks to replace so there's two of them there's one there there's also one of them in the master bedroom so it doesn't have central uh uh, AC, but again, they're not really that expensive. So when they go, I've got a guy that does all these for us. You know, again, out here, you've got the carpet, does need, you know, some cleaning. Again, this is kind of the stuff we see. It's just, it's just dirty. They don't really try hard to get up in here. But anyway, so here is the beach today here from this building. So I'm gonna look to the left. So if you look all the way over there, that's the third building. So I'm gonna kind of hold this out here. But you'll see the building sits further back over there. That's where the gym is. So in that unit building over there, um, but you've got you know the shuffleboards, a couple more pools, Lazy River over there, 
in this building, you've got a pool, hot tub around the corner. You've also got the outdoor seating area because there is a restaurant right there. So you've got all that. So you can see there's a little privacy wall here between our units. So you can see again out to the pier, which is uh, over here in Spring Maid. So that's Spring Maid Pier. But then again, you can see you have a complete unobstructed view. And this is what I talk about when I say truly oceanfront. You know, you have that truly oceanfront unobstructed view where, and I didn't point it out in the last video, but if you look right there, my finger's gonna of course take over the focus. But that, where my finger was in the, in the shot, way out there, that's actually North Carolina. So that's literally the end of the South Carolina line, and that's Cherry Grove, and you can see it all from here. So, all right, there's Compass Cove, unit 1052, and the beach.